Hi, and welcome back. We're here at Madeira Beach Fundamental, one of the locations where elementary teachers are participating in professional development aimed to elevate standards-based instruction. Our staff developers have been all over the district this month conducting these fishbowl lessons as a cutting-edge approach to professional development. Amy Owens is one of our literacy coaches. I think that this stands out in a way for teachers to be able to see a lesson live in something that maybe they don't have an opportunity or maybe just don't know about. So when you say see a lesson live, tell me a little bit about that. We actually teach with kids. So we borrowed a class from a teacher here at Madeira Beach Fundamental and we put them in front of me and I taught a lesson. The teachers get to see a lesson that they maybe aren't familiar with. And the beauty of this is after the kids leave, we get to debrief the lesson and have conversation about what is going on and exactly what they saw and how they can take this back and utilize it in their classroom with their own students. You're going to turn the data to your partner, but you're going to do it at the same time. Go. So what are some of the things that teachers saw in the lesson during the debrief? So they saw not only how I modeled with students, but they saw a scaffold of how I utilized a set of dresser drawers and how I was able to do oral story, even though it was an essay. And so the students, we talked our way through the essay and we used gestures and we used hand movements and we used all types of turn and talk so that the kids really knew the story inside and out before I ever asked them to write. Repetition, repetition, repetition. I really enjoyed the fishbowl um, lesson. It, it was really wonderful to see it actually take place and just get a whole picture from beginning to end. And I'm going to take that back with me and actually do that lesson in my room. I, I can't wait to try that with my own students. It gave the students an organized way of approaching a topic and to see how they can organize that topic with um, actual paragraphing and um, transition words with their ideas. I think the greatest thing that I got out of it was the framework. That she set them up with such a scaffold visually, the chart, and then supporting them through gestures to help them with their auditory so they got the repetition and then the repetition of practicing that oral storytelling really helped them, um, I think, really move ahead in their structure for writing informational text. Um, I definitely liked the, the gesturing with her, um, with, with the students as she was sharing the story and they were repeating it over and over again. I think the repetition was really important. And listening to the kids, I think they really understood a lot of the lesson. Tell me a little bit about what you think about this approach to professional development, including the fishbowl and the structure of the day. Well, I think having the opportunity to come together as professionals and share our crafts, our celebrations, but then also this is where I get stuck. Here's where I need that extra little modeling, guidance, professional development to nudge me ahead so that when I'm on my own in my classroom and I'm not able to plan with my team, it's like, well, I thought it was going to go this way. So actually having that live experience with real third graders and getting to collaborate with other third grade teachers, I think it really made a powerful improvement into my professional development. I think these teachers are walking away with a better understanding of some of the strategies to unleash the potential of our students. And when we come back, we'll meet a former Pinellas County student that did unleash his potential, becoming an international star in the animated comic industry. It's all part of Comic-Con, and we'll take you there next on Literosity.